Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I'm doing another build off with my mate Rob from Matchbox Garage. If you haven't checked out his channel yet I suggest you shoot over there after this video and take a look because he's got heaps of awesome Matchbox restorations of all sorts of cars from the vintage to the 80s as well as his Mad Max series which is a nice segue into our build off challenge for today. So a couple of weeks ago I won an auction for a handful of Matchbox vehicles including this quite rough Triumph T110 with a sidecar. Rob and I had been thinking about doing a post-apocalyptic Mad Max style build off together so I thought this would be a really good opportunity. So I messaged him at work and the post-apocalyptic motorcycle custom challenge was on. So let's take a look at the speed up old Triumph. The first thing that you'll notice is the front forks are missing so I'll have to replace these. I also don't have a front wheel for it. The whole bike is kind of bent a little bit. I'll have to straighten that up. This rear wheel hardly turns round. The wheel on the sidecar doesn't spin much better because the rear of the mudguard is slightly bent in. One of the handlebars is missing, I'll have to replace those. These were made by Lesney England from 1960 until 1966. I start by removing the rear axle and wheels. There is one rivet holding the model together which I drill out. It's a really detailed little casting. I use some pliers with insulation tape wrapped around the end to straighten out the mud guard on the sidecar. Now the wheel fits a lot better and can spin freely. I use my fingers to carefully straighten the rest of the bike. Now the rear wheel on the bike is spinning much more freely and the bike doesn't look all wonky. Here are the castings after I've used some paint stripper to remove the paint. I use a wire brush on my rotary tool to remove the oxidation and clean the castings up for painting. Here are the parts after burnishing, but before I paint them I'm going to have to fabricate some new bits on them.
To replace the front forks and wheels on the Triumph, I'm going to use this Hot Wheels Blastus Moto. Here you can see where I've cut the front forks off of the Hot Wheels and I cut a couple of notches into the front of the Triumph to fit them. Here they are attached. I use my rotary tool to remove the remaining handlebar and tidy it up. Here are some little pieces of tubing that I've cut out to thicken up the struts on the Triumph because the struts on the Hot Wheels were a lot fatter. I use some Tamiya putty to fill up the gaps and then sand it smooth. Here are some ape hangers that I've made to replace the handlebars. I've used the handles off of the Hot Wheels. And here is the bike after a bit more fabrication. I've fixed up the broken axle hole on the bottom there. I've added a luggage rack at the back. There's a couple of lights added and I've added some dials with some little wires coming off them. I remove the windscreen from the little sidecar and replace it with a fabricated mesh one and there's a couple of chains coming off of it. To make the little trailer to hold the still I'm going to use this little trailer that I got in a bulk lot of trailers. I'm not sure what it's from or what brand it is, there's no writing on it. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments. Here it is, stripped and taken apart and cleaned up. I've added a couple of mud guards to it. I'm just going to glue the tow bar onto it because there was only the axle holding it on before. Here are our parts so far ready for a coat of paint. I've stuck some chains on the trailer holding up the mud guards. I also added a rack to the back of the sidecar. These are then given a coat of Molotow Silver Dollar Rattle Can. Here they are looking all nice and silver. I find this is a really good surface to work on. Using Tamiya masking tape, I very gently mask off as best I can all of the metal areas and the seats on the bikes. I 
I paint the body parts of the bike with a dry rust effect paint. I add some rust washes to make the rust effect more interesting. To help stop some of the fine detailed areas of the casting getting clogged up with overspray, I use some liquid mask. This is just painted onto the areas that I want to mask and allowed to dry. The rust areas are now painted with chipping medium. The bike and sidecar are then airbrushed with Vallejo Army Green. Here is the bike after being painted green and having the masking tape removed. I now remove the liquid mask. I use a small paintbrush to tidy up any areas that the green paint missed. The metal parts are painted in gun metal.
And here is the Triumph after the gunmetal and some other details have been added. To achieve the chipping effect, I first paint on some water over the green paint. Next, I use a small stick to scratch away the paint here and there. Here is our sidecar and bike after painting and detailing. I now use putty and base wood and some wire to make a selection of details to add to the motorbike and sidecar to make it look more interesting. Here are the wheels including the replacement Hot Wheels wheel and a couple of little replacement wheels for the trailer. These were given a wash and a little bit of a rust wash on the trailer wheels. The trailer casting was given a similar rust and chipping effect as the bike and sidecar but with white paint. I then fabricated a little still for it and added some other extras. So before we take a look at our finished post-apocalyptic custom motorcycle, let's take a moment to be reminded of what we started with. An old Triumph T110 looking fairly unusable. With its missing front forks, wheel and handlebar, nobody's going to be going very far on this thing. And here it is remade into a post-apocalyptic travelling moonshiners bike. Our old T100 will now be performing a lot better with its new forks and front wheel. The bike and sidecar are now loaded down with lots of useful stuff for travelling in the post-apocalyptic wasteland, including spare fuel, food, a gun, an axe, some sleeping equipment. And if anyone's after some moonshine, they'll know where to get it with the signs all over the bike. And here is our little trailer. I have made a little sign out of base wood and fabricated a little copper still for him to make his moonshine in.
This build was really good fun to make, in fact probably my most enjoyable build so far. But it was a lot of work and I definitely put in over 20 hours on this project. So I hope you enjoy how it came out. I'm now really excited to see what Rob came up with, as I saw the motorbike that he started with, but I haven't seen what he's done to it. So as soon as you've finished watching this, head on over and check out his video. I'll leave a link in the description. As always, I'd like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers and say a massive thanks to everyone for their great comments on my videos. I really appreciate it. Thanks heaps for watching, and if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe.